Welcome back fellow coding facilitators, Jared O'Leary here with BootUp. In this video, I wanted to give you some facilitation tips with reverse engineering. So reverse engineering is where you um, take a look at a program or an application and you try and think of how they might create that with code. So um, for instance, if I were to look at a video game that I would play, I would think of how did they make this character move around in this way? What kind of code would I be able to do? Or in this app, I it's able to do X, Y, or Z. How would I code that? And what kind of functions and other really cool things would I need to create to be able to replicate that to do my own stuff? So throughout the lessons, you'll see um, quite a few opportunities for reverse engineering in both the Scratch and Scratch Junior um, curricula. So I wanted to show you um, examples for both of them. So in Scratch, what I'd recommend doing is um, in the full screen mode where you click right here, um, you display um, a sprite or something that you're going to have people reverse engineer, your, the coders that you work with, and you demonstrate it without actually showing any of the code. So for instance, we'd click on the cat. <coughs> And that's all it does. So once I would show that a couple times to the class, I then ask, okay, so what what would you need to know to be able to make something like that? How how might you do that with code? And then usually would have um, people break up into small groups or talk with a, a neighbor and then go, okay, well, um, think the event was when you click on something and it made a sound and then it moved. Um, don't know how they did it. Maybe they made a glide so it glided up and then glided down. Maybe they made it so that it changed um, the Y up and then down, etc. So after a while of um, talking about it, um, then I would encourage coders to actually go and try and figure it out on their own. But again, they still haven't seen the actual code. So they'd go into Scratch and then they'd um, try and encode it, and there's multiple ways you could do this in Scratch. And after a while, once some people have figured it out and have helped others with it, I'd then finally pull the screen away and actually reveal the code that was here. Now, what's interesting about this is because um, with code, there's many ways you can do similar or same things, um, it might get into um, some interesting conversations. So for instance, in this, I used repeat blocks to make something move up and then make something move down. But I could have simply just used glide blocks um, to make it do something similar. I could have also used some move blocks if I had it pointing up, etc. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. But it, it um, allows coders to engage in a conversation where they go, OK, well, when would I want to do it um, the way that Susie suggested? And when would I want to do it the way that Johnny suggested? Now, in Scratch Junior, we can also do the same thing. We just obviously be using the Scratch Junior platform. So what you would end up doing is pressing the um, expand button that has the arrow on it on the screen right now. Um, that's right here. And what you would do is pull up that and demonstrate something like the duck. And you'd have uh, young coders try and figure out, OK, well, what's going on with the duck? It looks like it's doing something, a pattern, over and over. So what's the pattern? Um, what's the the triggering um, block that might be used? In this case, it would be the green flag. And we're repeating motion box. So we're making a turn, and then we're making a jump. Now, just like before, there's multiple ways that you could um, do something very similar to this. So it would open up some conversations with some of the younger coders about how to reverse engineer something. So one of the great things about this is um, having done this with some of the coders that I worked with is they'll then go home and see something else and be like, oh, wow, that's really cool. I wonder how I could do that in Scratch or in Scratch Junior. And then they'll show up after like a weekend um, and show me a project that they created that was inspired by some YouTube video or something that they watched. So I encourage you to do um, some reverse engineering with your kids. Um, it's very worthwhile. It's a great um, learning experience, um, although it can be frustrating for some, so pair them up with other people. But it's, it's definitely worth doing. Um, if you have any other suggestions on facilitation tip videos that we should create, uh, please let me know. I would be happy to make some more resources for you.